Hope everyone had a really nice Christmas. For anyone who watched my previous video, it might seem that I haven't gotten anywhere since Christmas. I've just been up here in the attic, but uh, that's not the case. I am quite excited actually because I came up with a solution for how to put up the plasterboards in the attic, which is like really obvious. Uh, it was something me and my sister were onto already like months back. And uh, that is basically like cutting them into smaller pieces, obviously, uh, so I can handle them myself. And um, there's going to be a bit more plastering. The wall might not be like as even or whatever at the end of the day, but yeah, that doesn't really matter, I feel. Uh, I think it's going to look even enough. So uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So pretty excited. little little bit of a progress today uh it's so funny i i told daniel that uh that could, this could be done in a weekend and uh that's kind of when i was estimating time like how many boards can i can put up in an hour um and how many hours are there on a weekend but then i didn't really estimate energy <laughs> uh because it's so heavy uh, I can only work like an hour and a half at a time and then I need a little break so sometimes a long break so I think a weekend is very 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 optimistic hmm. but uh, maybe two weeks if I work every day I had my insurance company come over before Christmas and they found a hole where the rat comes into the foundation of the house. They put out traps along the walls, which I now have to check every day. I'm actually obliged to cooperate with them, otherwise they won't compensate for any damage the little buggers might or might not do. A few days in, I haven't caught anything and in a way I'm glad because I don't really want to kill them. But in a way, I also really want to get rid of the rat. So, a bit of mixed emotions. So they put the traps here, so that uh, hopefully they'll run along the wall and get stuck. Well, hopefully and hopefully, but you know what I mean?
definitely time for lunch. That's two boards up. I think it's been an hour and a half. Mm. But um, at least it's progress, so that's okay. After recovering a bit from the flu, uh, I saw that IKEA had a sale on, and uh, whilst being ill, I was thinking a lot about the uh, layout of the upstairs and what I want to do for storage and how the bedroom should look and whatever. And I thought I wanted to do like a built-in cabinet along the slanted ceiling, um, and I thought. If I can get a hold of cabinets, I might as well buy them and just assemble them and then kind of hack them or adjust them. Uh, so when I saw that they had a sale, I got super excited and uh, and I went there yesterday to pick them up. And um, I bought four of them, uh, which should be like three something meters of storage, which would be amazing. And uh, I'm going to assemble them now, uh, maybe all of them, I'm not sure. Um, so I can store stuff in them in the meantime and then uh, in a future video whenever the attic is done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I chose these because they are in massive uh, wood, that's why they're also super heavy. Um, so they're as good as like any wood I would buy in the hardware store and uh, they're gonna last for a long time, you can paint them, sand them, yeah. I just really like when it's wood all the way through um, and they've got a really good second-hand value so if I were to change my mind I can always sell them. Excited to put them together. I actually really like assembling like flat packs so uh, and I do it very rarely so it should be fun. So. So, I mean, I knew that they were big, but now that they're here, they're really big. I don't know where to put them in the meantime. <laughs> um, maybe I should put them here instead, but then I don't know what to do with that. So, this I'm gonna have to think about.
So that's a little bit what I have in mind for the loft bedroom. And um, I mean, it's quite simple. It's gonna have some storage. I'm probably gonna put in uh, a dividing wall here. It looks quite spacious in the drawer. Uh, <laughs> in the drawer. The drawing. Uh, it's gonna be small and cozy, uh, and it's just gonna have the necessities, and that's totally okay. I really want to put in a headboard because. Uh, with a slanted ceiling, I feel like when you put the bed all the way into the wall, there's like no room for the head. Uh, so I sleep with my feet outside of the... I ran out of space on my memory card there for a bit. Um, I was in the middle of a sentence, I think I was saying that I can't fit into my bed because of the slanted ceiling. Like basically my head can't fit in all the way to the wall, so my feet sticks out at the end. I'm pretty tall. Um, so I want to make a headboard. Um, and whilst I was ill, I got this kind of good idea, I think, to make an old uh, plywood uh, painting that I made ages ago into this board. And uh, I also have a foam mattress that I could use for it. So I think I'm just going to do that now because it would be nice to have that sorted. And um, I can sleep with my entire body in the bed in the middle of assembling a bunch of cabinets. But um, as I said, I don't feel like I have space for the cabinets quite yet. So uh, yeah, I might just do that. That'll be fun. And fun is fun. I had to cut it up here because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get it down the ladder. So now they're in smaller pieces, I can get it down and uh, continue the work downstairs where it's a little bit nicer to hang out. I think it's gonna be really nice once it has like a uh, nice fabric and then I drilled holes in the back 
uh, the, the same distance, many holes. So I can put in like uh, buttons or something if I want that. We'll see. <gasps> That should give plenty of space for my little head in bed. And uh, yeah, cannot wait to uh, finish this. I mean, obviously, the more I work on other projects, uh, the slower it goes. Soon enough, and until then, I'll be sleeping inside of this Christmas wrapping. Could be worse. Could be way worse. I can fit my head in. Oh, my feet doesn't stick out. Yay! <laughs> I've been a bit reluctant to feed the birds because of the rats or rat um, but uh, now that it's super cold I feel so bad for them uh, so I thought I would try and make something that maybe rats can't get into that easily that I can hang in a tree or something um, I found this old uh, lamp thingy uh, that I thought I'd put in there so they have something to sit on and this will be a little shelter and then uh, yeah we'll see how that goes You know what, I think this is going to do. Uh, I don't feel like I'd use for that one. I could just stick like a branch or something. If they can't sit on here. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Oh. Now I'll just have to wait and see if any birds show up. Uh, quite exciting. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.